ichambili na mbele kwa njira tuwa chengulu chengwezi na kanya kanyo mwashwe kufata mga shikangaha mifati kanye nuri yango huko mwai wanyi mutumire mkache hili jano hino umhane standu kanyo unamusi unamusi utoroshi kuku mwari yango mwari yango warabuze babuze umuvyei akaba na ina kuruwi wondo mkuko bila umi chwe kirundi kadele kare kare mungabu ini nhabi mungayo mkuko mwizi tukabuze uwachu tukunda halawa nyumayu kumushimbura halawa inhabu mhii njene mijanyina mocho alikitubita uchakumazi alisho chitu kwa njino mwuzi hali maarika numire mkuzi wimana fisto tukuombe uje Uwambe programe ya leo. Ajili ya kuomboleza kwa dada hapa. Baba na shukuru tena kwa kumutuma. Uyundugu ambaye yote. Amewaza na ye aje afariji mwake. Tunatua kwamba wewe ni mufariji mkubwa. Mbali sisi tunakuja tu ni kwa mwili tu. Kumufariji ndugu. Kwa sababu ndiyo ni tabia yetu mwana. Nakuenda kuonesha tena programe hii Yesu Christo. Na kuomba baba uende kuyongoza. Ongoze mmoja ya mikuna kushimamia. Wende kuongoza kanisa yote. Ongoze hata na wale wote mba watakuna kusikiliza. Hata na wadada wote mba wamekuna kufanya kazi. Baba, wote wende kuwa ongoza. Wa ashas wote mba wamekuna kutilea kwenye majuti tafauti. Baba, tunana uwe wende kutuongoza si sote. Kwa hiyo, baba, tunakuna kushukuru tena. Kwa muda kama huu, mekuna kutusanya si sote muda kama huu. Nikiomba na nikiamini katika jina la mfano wa Jesu Kristu. Amen. Anjira mhabu kama kala Asamble de Sen Waze na kumulikano kanya Wadu shikilize programe Wadu tiburi kumulikano kanya mula kutu
We're going to speak about death. Because death, the way we listen to it, we know that death, if someone dies, uh, physically we will never be seen. And we need to know what's the cause of death. Uh, where, is it, where is it coming from? If we were living physically, if we don't know where it's coming from, and who causes the death, you'll be like someone who's been lost. This is the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 1, chapter 2, verse 7. Uh, we're going to read in the name of Jesus. Watasoma kupitia jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Mwanzo sura mbili mstari wa 7. Bwana Mungu akamfanya mtu kwa mavumbi ya ardhi. Akampulizia puani pumzi ya uhai. Mtu akawa nafsi hai. Amen. Amen. Huyu mtu this man Mungu mwenyewe njali God himself made him. God is making Nakumba. and is creating. Uh, because our time is short, Kuna there's others who won't read. But if you have a pen there, I would have you to write. Because when you get home, you need to sit down and read. So that you will make them the difference between people. There, 
There's one man that we have read here that was made from the dust. That's Moses who wrote. And the prophet Moses wrote. If I'm saying the prophet Moses, I know the reason why Moses is the But we have 17 prophets. Isaiah? From Isaiah Malachi, until Malachi, we see 17 prophets. But I'm saying also, Moses is a prophet who has spoken about this man. This man, in the plan of God, God has made this person to live 1,000 years. That was the plan of God. But because, because of lack, uh, because of lack of obedience, Basi he couldn't reach one thousand years. Adam, huyu, this Adam, huyu mutu mwenye alifanya kwa mavumbi ya ars. This man was made from the dust. Akafa na miaka miakenda makumitatu. He died with uh, he died while he was nineteen nine nineteen hundred thirty. Alikosa miaka sabini. He missed seventy years. Kwa kuweza miaka ifumoti. To complete one thousand. Na tusisahau usemi wa mungu. And we shouldn't open the speech alone. Mungu wana tembe ya kuhesabu. God works with the numbers. Tunaposoma kutoka. When we read Exodus. Anasema nini kwa jili ya siku. He's saying what about the days? Wakati alipotuma wana wa Israel waende kupeleleza mudi. When he sent Israel to go to spy. Wakati wali asi. When they disobeyed or rebelled. Wakati kama nasema kuasi. When I say rebel. Wakati wali leta tarifa mbaya. When they brought a bad news. Kuliana na jisi wali na kupeleleza mudi. According to the way they went to spy. Mungu haka wazibu. God punished them. Ni kusema hivi. It's saying it means. Pahali ya kwenda kupeleleza inti miaka arubaini. Instead of going to spy a land for 40 years. Tunaona jisi mungu wali wapini. We see how God punished them. Hatuko pale. We are not there. Tuko kwa dija hui mtu. We are here about this man. Ni kusema hivi. It means this. Tukisoma katika kitabu cha Peter wa pili. When we read second Peter. Kinasema nini kwa ajili mungu wa nimesema nini kwa ajili ya siku moja. He's saying what about one day. Siku moja kwa mungu. One day to God. Ni kama vile miaka elf. It's like one thousand years. Na miaka elf kwa mungu. And one thousand years. Ni kama vile siku moja. It's like one day. Jo hapa tuko kwenye huyu Adam wa kwa. And that's why we are here to this Adam. Ni kusema miaka ya Adam. It means that years of Adam. Kama ngelieneza miaka elf moja. If you would have completed one thousand years. Nge ilikuwa vizore za hiyo. Would have been a good thing. Nakini kwa sababu ya kutubuti. Because of disobedience. Amiangunga. He fell down. Kama nasema Adam amiangunga. If I say Adam fell. Sisemi aha wapana. I'm not talking about Eve. Amen. Amen. I want you to listen. Because to believe comes by listening. That's the language of uh, if you don't have ear, you have to wait to the hell. Uh, that 70 years, we're putting in the bracket. According our time is just short. We're going to open another scripture. Here we're going to talk a little bit. We would have have time. We would have uh, spoken everything. Uh, according to this verse, we just read. And I'm urging you to write. Um, we are not going to read this scripture. The book of Genesis. The book that was written by Moses. A chapter 1. Verse 27. Hapa ni mwingine mutu. There's another man. Amen. Yes. Ambaya ameumbwa. That has been created. Huyu ambaya ameumbwa. The one that has been created. Hakutoka katika arzi hini. Did not come from the dust. Lakini aliumbwa. 
But he was created. Kuna mwenye alifanywa. There's one who was made him. Na mwenye aliumbwa. And there was Amen. one being created. Hawa watu wawili wako tofauti. Just two Amen. men are different. Kuna mwenye alitwaliwa katika ardhi. The one who came from the dust. Na mwenye aliumbwa na Mungu. And the one being created by God. Mwenye ana sura ya Mungu. Who had the face of God. Mfano wa Mungu. Who has an example of God. Hamalizia kitu Anaacha mambo yote mungia. Ni lazima tumulize mutumishu wa mungu. We have to ask the servant of God. Mungu yetu pao. Our brethren too. Anakuwaka na complete. He always completed. Fukuwa kitabo cha warumi. We're going to open the book of Romans. Sura 3. Chapter 5. Mstari waka kumini mbili. Verse 12. Tusike pale. Paulo anazumula nini pale. wakati tunamaliza usumu mungu akubali na Mungu abariki wa wasikilizaji. Amen. Kama tabia ya watoto wa Mungu, the habit of children of God. Kama msomaji anamaliza kusema akisema amena, after the reader I finish reading. Tuwe na ile tabia ya kusema amena. We need to have the habit of saying amen. 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 Tusiwe kama vile tuko kwenye nje hapa tuko hapa tuko. We should be like we are outside, we are here to listen. Hapa tunasikia mtumishi Paul. Here we hear in the servant of God. Na mbele tuko tunasoma mambo yote. And before we read anything else. Kama tunataka kujua Kristo. If we want to know Christ. Katika majiko haya. In this scriptures. Hii majiko haya. This scriptures. Ndio yenye yatahukumu mtu. Are the ones gonna judge a man. Ndio Mungu mzima yuko hapa. Amen. Yeah, God is there. Lakini majiko haya by this scripture you have to know that they kill him kulingana na kitabo cha wa korinto wa pili according to the book of say uh, the book of second corinthians sura 3 mstari wa 6 chapter 3 verse 6 kwa sababu haya majiko because this scripture tunapo yasoma hivi tu if you just read literally iko natua they killing us amen amen kwa nini watu wote hawakolewi why everyone is not understanding na tukiuliza wangapi wako na mabibi tunasema hasi watu tuko na mabibi If we ask you who has a Bible, then everyone will say we have a Bible. Why do we have these scriptures in different languages? Why do we have these scriptures in different languages? But they're not saving us. There is a mystery in that scripture. And these scriptures are not for everyone. Juni barua ya ya Biblia. Because it's a letter for the bride. Amen. Amen. Tuna soma kitabu cha warumi. We read the book of Romans sura 5 verse 12 Imesema nini? It says what? Inatuonyesha sasa chanzo cha nzambi. It's showing us the cause or the source of of zambi imekuja na mtu mmoja. The sin came by one man. Yule ambaye Mungu amefanya kwenye tope. The one that God made from the earth. Kwenye mavumbi ya ardhi. Oh from the earth. Jina lake Adam. His name is Adam. Lakini tusisahau. But we shouldn't forget. Kwamba ile verse tumesoma verse ya kwanza mstari wa 17. Ah verse 1. Verse 1 verse 27. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Ah pale 
there was another Adam. We said we're not going to speak about that. Paulo, we're going to ask Paul, uh, Paul in Corinthians regarding this one Paul wrote in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 the Bible says this and the first person who brought death, uh, sin into the earth was Adam or is Adam Amen. 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 That sin of one man it attached or impacted everybody. How what to what in one All these people are who are they? Well, let me go back. What uh, God created man Adam. was Adam. Adam was Adam. Uh, Adam didn't Adam was was created, he had a bed. Amen. Amen. Let's move there. Sasa Zambi. Now sin was brought by this man. Sasa Zambi ya Adam. Now listen the sin of Adam. He reached to everybody. I was speaking to a certain man. Nika muliza mtoto uje, kamtoto nani mtenda Zambi au pa? Then I asked, is a child a sinner? He said this. That whosoever child, how are these young ones? They are the saints. Amen. 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 When I asked them this, uh, uh, did they really uh, answer me properly? Saying that the infant, once they've been delivered, Instantly, uh, go, they go to uh, to heaven. Now I'm asking you, I heard three people saying, answer the word. That person really emphasized the young child hasn't committed sin. Now we have read here. That's why when we, we, we must have another ear, not this one. For us to understand the mystery that God has hidden. Because uh, God is He said that this creatures, they are killing. Are they killing the animals? They are killing people. Because of lack knowing or mystery of that's why we need to, to be humble, to, to be obedient, Amen. the gospel of eternity. Amen. 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 Now here, let me tell you, brothers, the one who says that a child like this young one, if they not committed, they haven't committed sin, it's just like the scripture has said, uh, this man for his fault uh, has reached everybody. Let us, Adam, Adam, were the people here on the earth. I'm asking, can you answer me? What family was here when Adam committed sin or disobeyed God? Adam was here when Adam committed sin or disobeyed God. No. Amen. What? Now listen, the sin read to everyone. It means what then? It means this. We are the uh, descendants of Adam. All of us we are descendants of Adam. Now a child has been born. He has a sin of Adam. Because our descendant is Adam. Now that sin in a tamba sasa it goes the child has been born is being born with the sin of Adam. Amen. Amen. We need to be awake. Now that's sin. It keep crawling, keep crawling. Now it has to happen. God looked. He looked this. That this sin is he shouldn't take well, over. Uh, we will continue with the Romans. Warumitano. Ile we are going to read uh, chapter five, verse thirteen and fourteen. Hey, Maana kabla ya sheria, uh -huh. zambi ilikuwamo ulimwenguni. Jio. 
Lakini dhambi haihesabiwi isipokuwa hapo sheria. Mm. Walakini mm. mauti ilitawala tangu Adam mpaka mm. Musa. Ndiyo. Nayo iliwatawala hata wao wasiofanya dhambi ifananayo na kosa la Adam aliye mfano wake yeye atakayekuja amena. 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 Ah watu hawapo hapa. Mungu mnazungumza ni mauzi ni kwapi? Tunakuja kufaridi dada na kaka. We are here to comfort brothers and Mawazi sister. Mauzi tukuwe hapa. Mm. Tuko na muda kidogo tu. We have short time. Wa kuzungumza neno hili. To speak this. Na hili ndio linashinda kila kitu. And this is his mother and his dada ametuacha. Because our sister has left us. Ninasema dada ni lugha. Uh, I'm speaking a uh, sister is a language we use. Mama mwenye ametuacha. Is a mother who has left. Sasa us. hili neno so this haliko kwa ajili ya huyu mwenye ametuacha. They know they know here for the Lord. Lipo kwako wewe ungali hai. It's for you mm. still alive. Ni lazima uditambue wewe ni nani. You need to recognize who you Sikia are. Sikia hapa hii verse ambayo imesomwa hapa chini. Now listen to this verse of the Lord. Zambi imetawala. That is sin take over. Tangu nani? Tangu Adam mpaka Musa till Moses amen amen wale wote all of the, all those wametawaliwa na dhambi those have been controlled by sin hii dhambi imewatawala this sin has controlled Mungu akafanya plan god had made a plan ya kwamba to say that sitaacha huyu Adam ambaye nimetengeneza mimi mwenyewe i'm not going to leave this Adam that i made myself akufe to die ni lazima sasa i have to do nitafute Adam mwingine and i need to search or find another Adam amen amen ule Adam sasa now this Adam ule mwenye hatukusoma katika verse ya kwanza sura ya 17 the one that we did read in the book of genesis in form wa mtume sasa ule God had to send him. Akuje kulamsha kule Adam mwenye namba. Had to come to arise the one where I was sleeping. Tutasoma mwenye kumi na tusome hii verse. We going to really just be patient to so that we can read this verse. Tunapenda sura mbili ambazo tutasoma. We have only two. Soma wa Korinto wa kwanza. We going to read our first Corinthians. Sura kuna tano. Ah verse 15. Eh verse yake ya 15. Verse 45. Kila kitu everything kina sababu yake. Has got a reason. Kama tunapouliza Musa, once we ask Moses, we need to pige hoja kwa ndugu yetu Paul. We need to know to our brethren Paul. Tusikie sasa Mungu pla yake yote nyali. So we can hear the plow of God, the plan of God. So we read tunasoma katika kitabu wa Korinto wa kwanza sura ya 15 mstari wake wa 45. Ndio. Soma katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Ndivyo ilivyoandikwa mm. mtu wa kwanza Adam mm. akawa nafsi iliyo hai mm. Adam wa mwisho ni roho yenye ku, kuhuisha yeah. amena 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 haleluya amen sikia sasa Mungu mwenye huruma now listen the god of mercy akatengeneza tena he created akaambia ule mtu then he told the man wa pili kama vile Adam wa pili ah uh, second as a second yeye atakuja the one who is coming yeye akuja kuamsha huyu Adam ambaye amekosea to arise or wake the one who disobeyed ule sio tena Adam wa mwili that wasn't Adam of physical bali ni Adam wa roho was a spiritual Adam ndio maana Mungu amemtuma that wa, that's why god sent him sasa hii nzambi Now this kwa yote atakaye muamini who believe him I said we have need to be count to be right kupitia imani yako through faith through faith amen amen, amen. sasa huyu mtoto mdogo now this young child anapata sana kuokolewa need to be saved kupitia imani fulani through a certain faith sio kila imani not any faith amen amen ndio nimemuuliza kwa Because when you ask him, Asimi, do you know Jesus Christ? Do you know Jesus Christ? Yes, I know. Asimi, mimi yes, I know Jesus. Wa wa to be my Lord and my Savior, my life. Amen. 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 Is that my brethren? Kama Yesu ndio bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako. Uh, Jesus is, is the Lord and Savior my life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mungu akatuma huyu mtu ambaye wa roho 
God send this man uh, the spirit one so that he can come and arise the one who was sleeping how is he going to work him? it's through one gospel and that the true gospel we don't have any other gospel that is we don't tell people come here to Jesus Let's pray for this man who has recognized the sinners. Oh, God, look at this person who has recognized himself today. That's not a teaching. Amen. 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 We need to ask John what he says. John chapter 1. With verse. He's saying what? Let them be cleansed by that truth. Your word is the truth. Amen. Amen. There's nothing that can cleanse a man. There's nothing that can eradicate a sin Except the word. You need to teach a man and listen. And you take his decision. God himself will speak to and then he will make a step. He will move from step to step. And he will move to another step. That's the plan of God. That's what we think. Chuki mm. Sorry. Chuki. Uh, a hen. It's a big, it's a, it's a big thing. Do you know that? People are saying that they're going to worship God. But they're going to worship the devil. God is saying this. I am love. And I've already given you the love. Amen. Amen. When you when you when you when you when Whosoever has a love, does he still have a, a darkness? You know that jealousy is coming from where? It's a lack of having grass into your, into, uh, your body. Amen. 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 We need to leave that uh, jealousy so that Amen. we can follow Christ. Amen. 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 I'm sorry. Zambia, Adam. Uh, the Until now, people are sleeping. Now listen, the sin says Adam. Until to Moses. Men are still preaching Moses. What did Jesus say? Uh, John is saying what? Moses was given what? was given the law and Jesus has brought what? has brought the grace and the truth when you ask the man you came here and you already know they say it's by grace of God with grace uh, coming from the camp of Africa to hear the grace of God because of people lack of knowing what is grace. I'm advising you, my brother. If you had a habit to say that I arrived here by grace, I'm bringing you juice because I'm free to full of juices. I'm bringing a saying that it's the grace of God. You have to know that death is with you. Uh, I've been uh, delighted. Here. Uh, the graveyard is just in our street. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We always get scared of graveyards. Here we never get scared anymore. Those who have been laid there, who are they? He said, We are here in Australia. It means that death is everything. But what we need. You need to help me with that. You need to do a sass. What is the salary? 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 Kwa sababu maisha hitu tunayo hapa duniani. Ni lezima tujue sababu ya kila kitu. Ukule, ujifreshe. Wa tesaluni kwa kwanza, ine mstara kumina tatu. Ujifreshe ujio kama utakufa. Na ukisha kufa, wewe, siku ambayi kuna kuja utakua. 
sura pale sura wa Thessalonike wa kwanza sura ile mstari wa 10 na 3 Some of the Tabu, Jawa, Tisolanik, Sura Yaki, Ide, Sarawaki, Kuminatatu, Jew. Lakin in Dugu, eh? At the Takim Siju, Habari, Zao, Waliolala, Mauti, Jew. Musite, Mukahuzunika, Kama, Nawengine, Wasio, Namatumaini, Amen. Kuminin. Maana ikiwa tuamini ya kwamba Yesu alikufa akafufuka Ndiyo. vivyo hivyo na hao waliolala katika Yesu hmm? Mungu atawaleta pamoja naye amena Amen Haleluya Amen Hapa mtanihurumia sana Here you have to forgive me Kwa sababu hii ni kwako na kwangu Because this is for me and you Ni lazima tuelewe We need to understand Kwa ajili ya wale hawa wenye wanatuacha uh, For those who have left us Tujue kwamba we have to know that ufufuo upo there is a resurrection ile kitu cha kwanza kiko and that the first thing tujue kwamba ufufuo utafanyika mara pili we need to know that there will be two resurrections kuna ufufuo wa kwanza there's the first resurrection utafanyika that will be the wale walio lala na kristo for those who slept with wale walio lala ndani ya kristo are those who slept with him to cross ni kwa ajili ya hao are the first resurrection is wale watu wakishafufuka what those people be losing they need to learn tuna mambo yake the world will continue with the wajenga watajenga the builders will continue ile plan yako upo nayo kufanya siju utajenga nini itafanyika that plan will still be fulfilled bali hao wenye walisha fufuka but those who been resurrected wenye walikubali kuteswa kwa ajili ya kristo those who accepted to suffer because wenye walikubali kuichiwa majina siju majina gani because they accepted to be called the son of god because of this gospel of jesus wale watafufuliwa those who be resurrected first kisha mara moja wanafanya nini and then after that is kuna watu wenye watakuwa waangali hai there will be others who still be alive wale nao mara moja and those is some kuna connection moja there's one connection tu kristo amekusha kuwaita because christ has already come nao mara moja wanavua mwili huo ah them is a little they will take wanavana mwili mwingine kama ule wa wenzao they will carry the new body mara moja wanapanda Instantly they will arise. Amen. Amen. Sasa wana wanapenda wanapenda wana. Uh, now they will arise. Well, we said kwamba Adam amekosa miaka 70. We said that Adam missed 70. Na tumesema hivi. And we said this. Mungu siku God day. Siku moja. One day. Ni kama vile miaka Elf. One day equals to one thousand. Na miaka elf ni kama vile siku moja. And one thousand years is the same as one day. Miaka sabini ni kama vile siku saba. Now seventy years is like seven years. Amen. Amen. Hiyo ndio sababu ya Mungu. That's the calculation of Kumbe hawa watu. That means this. Hii kanisa ambayo inatuliwa. This side has been taken. Usiwaje kama ni wengine wanjua watapo wanye wataenda hewani don't think any other any, any other men ni kanisa la kristo in the Amen. church of bila limekubali the one that i have accepted ya injili ya kweli to listen the go, the true gospel injili yenye haina udanganyifu the gospel that doesn't lie injili haiko ya ukuhani wa kwanza wa the gospel doesn't have the first priesthood amen amen hatuna wakati wa kuzungumza tena juu ya wa kwani muni urumeni we don't have time to to, to speak about our first hao mara moja wanakwenda hewani and these people were going to the watafanya hapo miaka They will spend seven years. Ile miaka Adam ameshi amekosa. The seven years that Adam. Ili wakuja kutawala katika eh Jerusalem mpya. So that they can come and control the new Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Il faut wafanye kwanza hapo miaka 7. They need to spend seven years. Na ile miaka kanisa iko hewani. And that seven years dunia sasa the world wanaanza kulia sasa. They will be crying. Tukutatuka vitu vya kutisha. Because they will think that will come and join ya Yesu sasa itemwandika sasa. And the tears of Jesus come as we come. Kama vile alienda katika kaburi ya Lazarus. Just like the way he went to the uh to the grave where uh, Lazarus Lazarus was laid. Ile machozi ya Yesu sasa itashuka pa. The tears of Jesus Christ will Ile machozi ya Yesu kushuka. And the tears of Jesus Christ to fall. Kuja kuadhibu wale wa asi wote. He come to punish all those wale wenye wanajitenga 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 wale wenye wanaj
Christo, are those who proclaim themselves the Christians. Yet in their heart they the, the sinful. Yet the the uh, craft or, or lizard or witchcraft. Yet they are prostitutes. Yet they are liars. And the first sin is to change these scriptures. If you don't know this, scripture, and you are there preaching to people uh, uh, false information, you have to know that you're killing people. You have to know you are the first to uh, uh, People are uh, getting low. Because uh, people have lacked the intelligence because of what teachers. That's why the name it is not missing, is not missing. You find people in the synagogue. You find people in synagogue. People are many. But they're full of gossiping. People are still competing with their dressing. Which heaven are you looking for? We should stop lying to people. Uh, you, uh, sorry? Ndugu yako. Unakutana ndugu yako. Are you find your brother? Anakuwa adui wako. It becomes your enemy. Sasa bi Mungu anasema nini? What is God? Wewe unapotukia ndugu yako. When you create it with no unasema kama unanijua mimi Mungu. And you say that you know me God. Unaona kama wewe ni Mungu mtupu. The two say that you are a liar. Amen. Amen. Sasa tunafika mwisho. We have reached here. Kulingana na wakati umekimbia. Ah with the time has just gone. Kitu natafuta kuambia. What I want to tell you. Hapo katika hewa there in the space. Those who died into Christ. Christ. Those who have fled into Christ. They will resurrect. All those rebellious who died into sin. They will stay into the graveyard. They will be resurrected in second time. After the church has completed 1,000 into the new Jerusalem. So that they can go into the church. You are saying that you are a pastor. I am a evangelist. Yet you carry in the sin. Or now that you will be resurrected. You will be saying that I was a senior pastor, I was a reverend. They will open for you to see what you are doing. Anthony, this is your road. What are the road? I want to say, man, no. There's nothing, there's nothing to say no. I can eat you can you can confess. It's the time to confess. It's to listen to the gospel of what's in the There's no any other gospel that we need on the earth. That's in short. It says this. You need to know Christ. Whosoever still playing with the world, the world is not is not heaven. Today you're looking in the mirror and saying that our God created me well. Uh, but one, once the uh, the breath has been taken out and you fell. Unapo mwambia bibi yako sasa hivi sisi tunatoka tunaenda nyumbani wewe lale na huyu marehemu ndani ya chumba yako. Uh, once you've been told or oh, people are saying bye to you now sorry you can stay here with uh, uh, the one who just passed away, uh, we going to our houses. Can you already ask my sisters, can you lie there while someone already <laughs> uh, and, and Unless they, they run quickly and close his eyes. Uh, your brethren is no longer uh, shaking. Are you going to accept to lie with him on the bed? Amen. Amen. Be careful with that. We need to love Christ. We need to sleep with Christ. So that one day, you can be resurrected. So that we can go and have a rest. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Na nyinyi nyote ambao wamekwenda kusikiliza Mungu amebariki. Wa Basi tunaingia tena kipindi cha pili tutamsi ambaye amekwenda mwenye anashimamia wala MC wa hii baada ya leo kuhusu kilio aende kukamata tena nafasi yake. Karibu. Kuvuga kaji sikiwe tulivuga mwisho wa hii. 
Eh, kama mlivyosikia uh, ilipokuwa tarehe tatu, uh, sorry tarehe 15 uh, uh, tulipata taarifa kwamba uh, tumekutwa na mauti ya mwanafamilia. Kwa hiyo leo ni tarehe 25 mwezi wa pili historia fupi ya maisha ya marehemu. Marehemu alijulikana kwa jina la Felista Shukuru Onesmo amezaliwa tarehe moja mwezi wa saba mwaka elfu moja mia tisa hamsina mbili na amezaliwa na wazazi e, baba anajulikana kwa jina la Bishimwa wa Moro na mama mzazi anajulikana Lubano Mbuzionza marehemu alifunga ndoa mwaka elfu moja mia tisa sabina moja na kugua hadi kufa marehemu aliugua namu mwezi jana ah sorry mwaka jana mwezi wa tisa elfu mbili ishina mbili alipoanguka ghafla akakimbizwa katika hospitali ya machazo kigoma na alipopokelewa pale kwa hospitalini madaktari wakamfanyia uchunguzi hawakubaini ugonjwa wote akawa ameruhusiwa akaenda nyumbani tarehe 15 ambapo ilikuwa juma jumatano marehemu aliugua ghafla akaanza kutapika alipotapika ilikuwa majira ya saa kumi jioni na walipofanya jitihada ya kumpeleka hospitalini ndipo katika kuwasiliana na familia familia wako na tunafanya mawasiliano ili mzazi apeleke hospitalini ilipofika saa mbili umauti kamkuta uh, marehemu aliweza kubahatika kupata watoto marehemu alipata watoto nane wa kiume tano wa kike watatu na katika hao wanane mmoja alifariki ambaye ni wa kiume kwa hiyo ameacha watoto wa kiume wanne watoto wa kike watatu lakini hapo kwa sababu huyu mama ambaye imefariki alikuwa mama yetu mdogo ambaye nazaliwa tumbo moja na mke wangu ambao ni uh, Vastina na kipindi wazazi wa Vastina walipofariki huyu mama ambaye amefariki ndiye alimlea akiwa mtoto mdogo kwa hiyo huyu mama ndio anajulikana kama ndio mama wa Vastina kwa sababu ndiye alimlea toka utotoni mpaka akawa amekuwa mtu mzima kwa hiyo ma mama huyu mama yetu ameacha wajukuu ishirini na vijukuu wanne kwa hiyo kwa ufupi hiyo ndio maisha ya mama yetu marehemu na wanasema bwana ametoa na bwana ametoa jina la bwana limidiwe amina amen kanya kandi huko ndani tuwe kironi kwa kushima chanye jambo nyamukuru nyuma y'ubuzima bwaranze mubyeyi Ah, uh, nitajitahidi nitumie muda mfupi kwa kuchanganya lugha. E, napenda ichukue fursa hii kushukuru nyote wanafamilia, marafiki tulipopatwa na habari ya msiba huu mmekuwa karibu nasi mkitufariji kwa hiyo tunasema asante sana kwa niaba ya familia na vile vile nichukue nafasi hii kushukuru ya dhati kabisa uh, assemblée de saint toka tumepata taarifa wamekuwa benet pamoja nasi kutufariji kwa nyimbo kwa njia tofauti kazi mlioifanya muifanya kazi kwa wanafamilia kwa wanandugu wenu na Mungu hiyo ni kazi atakwenda kuwakumbuka kwa kazi mlioifanya. Haleluya. Amen. Na kwa ufupi hatuna
tuna mengi zaidi bila kunichukua tu ni kwa shukuru. Lakini kabla sijaitimisha niombe tu nitambulisha familia. Kwa hiyo acha nimsi uh, mama mzazi afiki hapa kwa wale ambao hawamjui waweze kuona ni nani alikwenda kuachwa na mama. Karibu mama. Haleluya. Amen. Huyu ndiyo mke wangu ambaye ndiye ma, mama mzazi aliyefariki ndiyo mama mlezi wa Vastina. Huyu ndiyo Vastina ambaye aliachwa na, na mama hapo Tanzania na tunaendelea kushukuru kwa kuja kwenu na kuendelea kutufariji kwa njia tofauti. Ni vile vile hatuko sisi watatu kama mnaviona mtoto mchanga tunao watoto I would like to ask all our children to come forward. Eh kwa kwa hiyo hawa ndio wengine wamelala kwa hiyo tunatuia radhi. Kwa hiyo hawa ndio wajukuu wa marehemu na wengine wamelala pale. Kwa hiyo huyu ndio mjukuu wa marehemu mkuu mkubwa. Huyu ndio anaifuata wa kiume na wengine hapo mnawaona kama wamelala anafuata akitoka akitoka Kevin anafuata Ketia akitoka Ketia anafuata Naomi akitoka Naomi anafuata Daniela alafu na Kailen na kwa ufupi mchao wake fashikano kanya kushimira chane inchuti na wagenzi ukuntu watu wa hafi bitanze batiziganya e, muri kino gihe twarimo chumo babaro sikuvuga yuko ngo no munsi umubabaro raheze murazi wabuzu wawe e, uguma babaye ariko kandi sikuguma tu babaye kuko e, turazi yuko kama tugibwa yuko dukire gutegura ubuzima bwacu tukiri bazima iyo wapfuye nokibufisha umwanya gutegura ubuzima bwawe utegura ho jo hauzo genda cyangwa uzoza ukihemuka ugifisha umwuka wabazima nuwa mara ku nuwa mara kwambuguye umwuka niko nakoresha mu kuvuga kazo bakarangi gutegura ubuzima bwawe niyo mpamvu eh nubwo tubabaye nti tubabaye cyane tubabaye kimubiri ariko kandi eh umubiri wacu nti dushobora kuvuga ati ngo yagiye mu ijuru wewe ngo no rubanza gwiwe ni imana tubirekira imana nimba yarizeye eh ubutumwa bwiza gukuri azoza mu kibanza yateguriye wemo haleluya rero tabashimiye cyane eh kukubana natwe Imana ibagire neza cyane murakoze. Murababarira ai umutwe si sandugu eh nerekanye umuryango ariko hari aho nterekanye. Hanyuma eh Alex ndamusaba haguruke eh na madame wiwe. Uyu u nkuko benshi kumbere bamwe batamuzi uyu ni muri umunanje ni wankurikira e naramusigibere koko jewe yanyarutukuza kugira ca ndariva kwa taragera hanyuma uyu nowe mutambukanye wiwe nabana bari hano murakoze cyane murakoze cyane ayona kakanya
there's soft drinks behind you.
mingi Mujisikia huru pia tena mara pili mara tatu na vinywaji viko kwa wingi Na tulikuwa tunapenda kushukuru wa mama mbao wame uh, Wamekua involved kwa hii mambo ya kutengeneza chakula Na washukuru tena sana sana tena sana Kwa niamba ya kumitanga wame kwenda kwa andamu mejitolea Mungu wa deme kubabariki kabisa bali na muka bali mwasikia kabisa na mpokea shukurani zetu kabisa kwa kazi mtefanya kwa hiyo mjisikia huu mungu wa bariki tena tunaindelea na kukula watoto mwadishe minuaji msisa au wa santeni sana